now I'm at my apps and keys dashboard. So here we can see add app and integration key. Here we can see my consumer key, consumer secret and default scope. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up DocuSign with Salesforce. So you can start sending documents for e-signature seamlessly right from your Salesforce org. Before we dive in, let's make sure we have a DocuSign developer account ready and access to your Salesforce org. Alright, let's get started. First, log into your DocuSign developer account. Once you are in, go to apps and keys from the dashboard. Now I'm at my apps and keys dashboard. So here we can see add app and integration key let's click on that and then give our app a name so that it can interact with the salesforce let's give sf as my app name and then click on create app once you create app you can see the following details uh, you can see integration key you can copy it and save it in a safe space so we can use it later inside the salesforce and we also need to generate a secret key so here we can generate the secret key and then we have to store this secret key in a secure space so that we can use it in salesforce once we generate this we we can click on save and once it is saved everything is done from this side so now let's go back to our salesforce and then uh, let's start setting up the salesforce to sync with the docusign so in salesforce uh, we have few things that needs to be set up first we uh, we need to set up the auth providers so let's go to setup and then search for auth providers inside the quick find once we see auth providers we have to click on new button and then select provider type as an open id connect once we select open id connect we will see a bunch of fields which needs to be filled in order to make a connection with our docusign account so we give a name as docusign url suffix as same as name consumer key is uh, nothing but the integration key this integration key is the consumer key inside our auth provider and the consumer secret which i have uh, just asked you guys to copy we can paste that here and authorization endpoint url so these endpoint urls are this ends with auth these are provided by salesforce and then there is one more endpoint for token and that ends with token once we set up this make sure uh, these two checkboxes are already checked and then uh, we should be good once it is all done we can just have to uh, click save i'm not saving since i already have an auth provider with name docusign here we can see my consumer key consumer secret and default scopes yeah we also need to put a default scope refresh tokens full once auth provider is set up successfully we have to set up named credentials so so let's search for named credentials inside the setup once we click on name credentials we'll see empty name credentials since i already have set up my account with docusign i have a name credential already present in my r but for you guys to create a new name credential let's click on the drop down here click on new legacy once you click on new legacy you will see a bunch of fields label will be my uh, docusign you can give anything but you need to use this in later so please give it a meaningful name and then url url is nothing but account base url here you can just copy this and then paste it in here and for identity type click on name principal go to select oauth 2.0 and once we uh, select 2.0 we'll see another few fields authentication provider here we have to select the auth provider which we have just created here we can see i have my auth provider docusign created here and then scope same as the auth provider scope refresh token and then authentication status is pending right now once you click on save you will be redirected to docusign app where you have to verify your account and then you'll get redirect back to the salesforce and then the authentication status will be changed to authenticated let's see how that goes okay let's click on save now we can see uh, salesforce is requesting for external access once you click on confirm your name credential has been authenticated successfully now the final step you need to do uh, for docusign setup is go to a uh, quick find and again omni interaction configuration once you click on omni interaction configuration you won't be having these two configurations so we have to create two new omni interaction configurations in order to set up docusign so first one will be docusign account id so uh, you have to put the same label docusign account id same as this and then value will be you can copy it from the api account id here this will be the value for this interaction configuration once you save you can uh, click on new again and then you have to add docusign 
assign name credential so here you have to pass the name credential which we have just created so i have named my docusign name credential as docusign so i am passing docusign and once it is done uh, from the app launcher you can search for docusign setup omni studio docusign setup once you click on this you will see the following screen in this you have to click on get docusign templates with this option you will be able to fetch all the docusign templates which you have created inside your developer account in my developer account i have the following uh, templates so these are uh, here but i will uh, walk you guys through how to create a new template so let's go back to our developer account click on templates and then click on start envelope templates and then create a template and this you can give any template i'll give new document template and then since i'm going to create a new document inside here i'm not going to upload any document here and then role you can uh, add recipients so i'm going to give role as a user a name as my name an email my email id and let's give some subject and then message and at the last you have to select the envelope type from this drop row you can select any one according to your documentation and then click on next all right now click on the arrow here here we can see create a new document once we click on new document over here it will allow us to go to next step where we can add the contents for our new document so in here either we can upload our files or start typing so here i will be typing demo template and uh, the following details let's put name as text here we can add few validations for this input since my uh, name accepts only letters i'm adding it as letters and we can uh, put a data label here so i'm gonna name my input as a name and then we can select either if it is a read only or required field and then let's add few more fields let's select email then again add a text field and then we'll uh, convert this text field into type of email so let's click on the validation again and select email over here so now it will act as an email input field and let's name my label as an email and then let's put some drop down for gender drag and drop the drop down field and then we can add options over here male female and others and we can also give a default option since i don't need any default option i'm not selecting it and we can add the name for this as well gender and finally a checkbox and let's give the name for checkbox confirmation and let's add a signature and date field now our, our template is ready now let's click on save save and close once we do save and close we can go back to our salesforce org we can do get docu sign templates again and then we'll be able to see our newly generated template over here let's see perfect now we have our uh, newly generated document here that's test demo now in order to send this template to a user for signing purpose let's uh, we have to create an omni script so let's go to omni studio and then create an omni script for this so let's click on new and the omni script and then type any type and let's click on save once we create a new omni script we need to add an action element called docu sign envelope action this is a standard action which is provided by salesforce all we need to do is add templates here so that it will be sent to the user from this drop down let's select the template which we have just created we also have a data mapper option where uh, we have to add a transform here and then we can map the data from our salesforce org to the document to pre-populate the data before sending to the user so that it, it contains some pre-populated and some user input fields in this i'm going to show you uh, how to send the email so let's add sign and details let's click on save and once we click on save let's uh, preview it here we can see a uh, docusign envelope action status is sent which means that email has been sent successfully now let's go to our outlook and verify the email if it's been received by the user there we go we can see an email has been received for the user let's click on review document let's click on continue here we can see all the input fields where we can fill all the details signature there we go everything is once we click on finish a notification email will be sent to the sender and that we have signed the document successfully so we can also track the status of the documents from here as well this is the test subject document which i have just sent so we can track the activity so i have already signed here so it is waiting for one more user that is me that who needs to be signed I would like once i sign this document from my side the status will be completed like this. and that's it you have successfully set up docusign with salesforce and sent your first document directly from the omni studio if you found this helpful please don't don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.